I picked up this uh, little OBD2 Bluetooth device off of Amazon. It was uh, $20 and some change. But it's called, I don't know if you can see that, ELM327 Interface. And I got it within about a week. And on my 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is a WK series, all you do is plug it into the port, which on mine is right there, nice and out of the way, doesn't even hang down. Then you go, you go on the marketplace and you download a program called Torque. And the program will give you, you can set it up totally customizable. It will give you any information you pretty much want that the OBD port will send to your phone. The setting is here. Go to settings. You can see all the different settings. Put in your engine deplacement. Mine's the Hemi 5.7 liter. So that's already in there. Uh, vehicle weight, which I still have to look that up. Your maximum RPMs. I do believe mine's 5,500. Uh, different themes and background images and s silly things like that. Uh, you'll have to make sure it's checked for miles. Uh, take off the Celsius that was already checked. I told it to use feet instead of meters. Use PSI instead of bar. And the, But the real setup for this unit is you will go to Bluetooth preferences, click on device, and you notice I have a bunch of different devices, and that really threw me the first time because the OBD2 was not listed there. You'll need to go through your phone's uh, Bluetooth settings and set that up. And then when you want to pair it with this program, you will just click that, and then it will go through and pair, pair it to the, the Torque program. I don't know what the IP address does. I mean, it says Wi-Fi root, root required. My phone is rooted. I really don't know exactly why I would want that. And there's power save mode if you... We're just going to run your phone off uh, the internal battery. Right? And you can also enable speech if there's any system notifications. And I, I unchecked that. That was def defaulted. It was checked. And manage available OBD2 PIDs. It says for advanced users. I believe it because when I clicked on it, And then bring up, like, if I want to add one, a bunch of information. I don't know what it means. I'm assuming all this is to make it more customizable as far as if there's an OBD2, something in the OBD2 that's not being read by the phone as an option. Like, if you want to select it, you can set it up and have it read that. It's over my head. I have no idea. Go back again. Go back again. I guess I can show you with the car on. connected I think it's connecting right now I'm sure if you can see that the top bar says checking proto ISO automatic search connected to ECU OK there's my voltage 
because I've already been running this before doing the video. There's my temperature is already warm. You can see the gauge moves up. And in the middle will tell you digitally. But you can go through here and just tap on the screen. Hit add display. You can do a dial graph or display or there's some widgets. Um, I pretty much been doing just display right now. Some of it looks better as a display, some looks better as a dial, some is just preference. I mean it's a bunch of stuff. I don't even know what some of this stuff means or why you would need it. Sorry, I'm not a gearhead, although I do work on my own vehicles. I'm not that into motors. Uh, let's see. And you can do speed from the GPS of the phone or from the OBD2 port. Oops, don't know what I hit there. But if you want to. Yeah, there's a turbo boost gauge, which would be good for people with turbos. And a lot of this stuff will, will just be good. Say you have an older car, has an OBD port, but you lose your fuel gauge or you lose your speedometer or your RPM gauge. You know, you can just set this up. You could probably come make a mount, mount it up in there or double-sided tape depending on your car, you know. And you would, you would then have your information without having to to uh, worry about you know not not being able to have a gauge working for example go back to we'll, we'll add something just so you can see what it does I'll say dial let's go find fuel okay fuel level put it as small there you go you know 40 percent fuel left you know that would be a, a gauge you could use to drive your car around without the annoyance of a, a dead gauge on your uh, cluster you know we're talking 20 bucks for the OBD Bluetooth we're talking free for the app although see this one has ads at the bottom but you can pay five bucks I'm assuming that gets rid of the ads and I'm not sure if it gives you any more functionality or not but five bucks so 25 bucks and you have some gauges I think at the at this point in time we all have extra phones this is the original droid one so you know I have this laying around figured why not use it um, I also have the Casio G Zone Commando, which I believe would work too. I have the program on there. I haven't, you know, paired it or anything, but I don't really plan to. I plan to mount this up somewhere for my for trips, just so I have a little fun information. And like also, like I said, fun information. You can add display. At altitude that will take it from the GPS though you know and I can we'll say medium widget I don't probably have to be a large but you know there I have uh, my altitude which is always just interesting to see as you're driving across the country I, d I do have the the nav system in this vehicle but to get to the altitude it's just way too many clicks so this would be a lot handier just for fun information to have. Like I said, for the price, it's a fun toy. So anyways, that's it, and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.